We are going to move on to the last presentation of this segment, which will be a recorded presentation. Um, it is titled Feasibility of Rapid to Complete Buildings in Colorado by Russell Defner. Hello, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the Mapping USA conference. I'm Ru Russell Defner, a longtime contributor and supporter of OpenStreetMap. I'm originally from Colorado, but I live part of the year in the Philippines, where I am now. So forgive me for not being with you live, as it's about 3 AM here. Instead, in this pre-recorded session, I'll explore various methods of mapping buildings and share my insights on their efficiency. Before I dive in, a bit of a disclaimer, uh, this talk should not be taken as a scientific analysis, only my attempt to spark the conversation and provide my, my findings. As a mapper, I explored four different methods to map buildings, uh, the standard ID editor, the JOSM editor using the buildings and extrude tools, the rapid editor utilizing the Microsoft buildings footprints generated with AI, and JOSM with the Map with AI plugin and the Microsoft Buildings. All of those launched from a project that I created for Chafee County, Colorado on the OpenStreetMap US Tasking Manager. Let me show you a bit of these efforts. In this very sped up time lapse, you can see me mapping using the four editors or techniques. I chose the ta tasks in the town of Salida as I could reasonably make them similar in the, ty the type of and number of buildings. I tried to just map as I normally would, not trying to map overly fast or slow, but but also not bothering to stop and fix other things like roads and waterways, which I normally would. Just a regular editing session I would do on my free time focused on buildings only. Uh, these are the results after mapping using these methods. I must reemphasize that the metrics presented here are not based on a comprehensive study. Um, the time spent in the buildings or tasks mapped were solely from my individual mapping experience. For instance, you can see on this slide that with the ID editor, I mapped roughly 4.2 buildings per minute, with JOSM 4.4, RAPID 4.8, and JOSM with the Map with I plugin 5.7. Looking at this, it, it's pretty clear that for me personally, the AI assisted methods gave a significant advantage. However, I also tried mapping with all four editors, letting the tasking manager give me random tasks, as you're seeing here. In this case, there were many more in rural areas, so that included plenty of tasks with no structures to map at all, uh, which you know still takes time to pan and zoom around to make sure that the AI didn't miss anything or that new buildings in the newer imagery uh, were captured. Therefore, I was spending a lot more time with less actual mapping. In this case, I just set myself a timer for 30 minutes with each editor, and you can see I was much slower overall. With the ID editor, I mapped roughly 2.5 buildings per minute, uh, JOSM 2.6 buildings per minute, RAPID 1.9, and JOSM with the Map with AI plugin about 2.1, which appears to show that the AI assisted tools are actually less efficient than manual mapping, at least in the, the rural context. Looking at the average for the urban and, and rural mapping together, it's quite a mixed bag. Again, it's crucial to note that these results are, are quite anecdotal and would vary based on individual mapping styles and proficiency with the tools. I wouldn't consider myself an expert user of any of these methods, but I'm familiar enough to use them all with basic shortcuts and hotkeys. Also, the luck of the draw when getting random tasks that mi might have very little to no mapping needed. What's the point? Well, according to Microsoft's AI prediction, there are over 2 million buildings in Colorado. Looking at overpass turbo recently, we can see about 60% of that has been mapped already. So we can estimate that I, at my mapping speed of about 3.21 buildings per minute without AI assistance, that's 179 sleepless days. Um, with AI assistance and an average about 3.27, I would get three days of my life back, which you may or may not consider a significant difference. So using the task manager and map with AI tools shows promise in streamlining mapping efforts. Of course, further comprehensive studies involving multiple mappers would pr provide more robust insights. Um, I've also seen and heard that for you know other areas around the world, the data is not nearly as good or complete as Colorado. So while it might be an advantage here, that may not be the case elsewhere. Of course, as the data improves, hopefully the usefulness of the tools will also improve globally. But maybe the biggest key to completing structures in Colorado is the tasking manager, as it is a proven method for collaborating on large projects with multiple contributors. Mapping buildings in OpenStreetMap offers various methods, each with its own unique advantages. At this point, the projects I've created allow the mapper to pick which editor they prefer, rather than restricting to the AI editors. 
but it, yeah, of course, if you want to reach out to me with any questions or, or potentially collaborate on this effort, uh, my info is there. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Excellent. Um, thank you all so much. That ends this segment. Um, that video will also be shared out later for you all to watch again. Um, and this is our break time. Have a great rest of your conference. Thank you. <laughs>